How you doing everyone? This is Reverend Jess Fogelsong coming from touchbygodchurch.com and we are online. Our message for today is an introduction and understanding of the character of God. So let's take a look at this, alright? Now I believe that God desires for us to discern and understand his character by expounding the information that he has put forth throughout astrological, geological, geographical, anthropological, biological, and natural human history. Also by studying and reading his revealed words in the Bible, written by men of faith and allegiance through his divine providence and inspiration. We must understand that he sees us from a pure, righteous, extreme, indescribable, divine realm. His mind encompasses the entire universe and beyond, and he dwells within pure light. The only way we, stained by the original sin, are able to stand before him or communicate with him is through a representative, a mediator, a communicator who can speak for us in his father's language, face to face. Thanks to God, the Christ is our representative to stand before him, our Redeemer. Through his sacrifice and death, he rose and is now seated next to his Father in heaven. And um, so God had been showing and illustrating to all for thousands of years in the ceremony of the sacrificial lamb. Jesus relied, uh, realized that he was, he was whom Isaiah wrote about. He was the true sacrificial lamb a servant of the Father, and to mankind. Isaiah 42, verse 1. Here is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him, and he will bring justice. He will bring justice to the nations. Now we can also understand God's character by observing nature. The animals, the mountains, the trees, the weather, the oceans, the fish, the whales. Every creation has a purpose and reflect on him and his purposes. He is known to be ubiquitous, indeed everywhere at the same time. But where in the universe is he? Is he in the clouds? Is he in the earth? Is he in our minds? How do we locate him? How can we communicate with him? Well, people have been asking these questions since mankind knew about him. Obviously, a good place to look for God is in the Bible. The Bible was written by chosen men most likely through divine providence and inspiration to promote the belief and existence to, of God and the salvation of his people. They wrote about their experiences and encounters with heavenly spiritual beings who represented God. Abraham's meeting with two angels, Moses' encounter with an angel of God as a burning bush, then later confronting the voice of God on Mount Sinai, receiving the Ten Commandments on stone tablets. There are many instances of dealings with messengers and representatives of God, but no matter what the circumstance, each occurrence was part of a larger purpose. And in the Old Testament, the Jewish Torah, God's appearance 
appearances through angels or other forms, the overall message was, as it still is today, of salvation, of redemption for a lost people, a lost race of human beings through the sacrificial death of the Christ Jesus. God, who is the sole creator of the universe and everything within it, is an active, dynamic God, always instilling the goodness, the positive, the wonder in all. I think most of us are curious as to know how God views his created human beings. What does God think of us here on planet Earth? We haven't heard from him since the times of Jesus and of the journeys and experiences of Old Testament Israel. And we are clueless as to what he really sees in mankind. Therefore, um, in this message I would like to present through what I understand about him, his character, his revelations, his presence, what I see in looking at life through his eyes and perhaps answering many of the questions that we as mortal beings want and need to know and discern. Now, everyday questions are ups and downs, are good and bad things, sensitive things, death, life, sadness, happiness. Are many of us still in the running or are we lost souls? We need answers and I hope uh, this message and, uh, and our studies here, here in uh, touchbygodchurch.com will satisfy many of, of who, and many who are curious as to how our Creator sees us. Through inspiration and providence, I'd like to share with you God's answer to your questions. All right, so, um, well, let's take a look at it, all right? And um, so it's amazing how everything comes into focus when, uh, when the self is taken away. Um, so by studying the, the Bible, Old and New Testament, thoroughly as well as other related books, we begin to understand the wonder of the gospel and what it really means by seeing it from the perspective of God's view, which is not easy. You, uh, in order to peer through his, through, uh, through his eyes, you, you uh, need to know his character, and that is through study. And so by seeing it from the perspective of God's view, the blinders are lifted. Mankind will not fully capture the true nature and character of God unless we step outside of ourselves and see things from a larger view. So we should not play God. Human behavior also illustrates the story of salvation, the gospel, the struggle between good and evil. We have become extremely arrogant as to think that we Mankind have the last word in determining our fate. That we can change the systems of the world, the climate, the environment, life, and death. Well, God sees it differently. He is the sole character. He is the, the, the sole creator, and therefore the supreme being in charge, in control. We cannot play God. He forbids it. We can only be the occupiers, the renters. He is the landlord, the supreme landlord. We are only a teaspoon of water compared to all of the oceans. And so this message has, uh, has been a... a, a Certainly a privilege as I truly deeply feel that he has called to explain and disclose who he really is, his character, his presence, 
and to reveal many of the questions that could that uh, cloud that cloud much of life itself and so I hope you will be inspired by the words uh, by the words and uh, lessons and messages through these uh, next uh, few weeks and months matter of fact by coming in to uh, to, the, to touch by God church and uh, and studying and and hopefully it'll change hopefully it'll change your life it is written in the in in, uh, in the Bible that uh, God will always be w with you and it is uh, his inspiration and uh, his uh, through his son the Christ Jesus and the Holy Spirit and uh, so God he is awesome amazing loving trustworthy holy genuine all-sufficient faithful he is the life giver honest and honest God a compassionate and respectful God of the universe he is the only God we have there is no other all right a great message here and as we uh, uh, as we look forward to the many lessons and messages here in touchbygodchurch.com and also on Facebook as well uh, Touch by God Church World Ministries on Facebook drop by when you can this is Reverend uh, Jess Fogelsong from Touch by God Church God's blessing to you and yours today.